in this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. You know why? You should know by now because this is a hobby and not a job. Let's begin. Quote of the day, finale. Love is the best teacher. I would argue failing is the best teacher. Trying things out and failing and learning from those mistakes is the best sensei that I've ever had. And goddamn, I am learning every single day. Is the theme of today's episode love? Is K Koji gonna happen? What? Been kind of cheating on K with like, you know, oh. He, he, I, I, I recognize Hiyori here. I, I, Hiyori? Hiyori and uh, back of the head, hair color kind of looks like Koji, but I could honestly assume it's Hirata. Where's Koenji? Dude, could you imagine? Because this is Cafe Palette, right? This is Cafe Palette where all the like the, the cool people hang out. And Koenji was said to like be around a bunch of senior girls in Cafe Palette and have like an entire table to him. If only there was like a fucking just like Koenji just like sitting somewhere just like with a bunch of table of girls, dude. Oh! Book date with Hiyori! Okay, okay. Look at the actual fucking chemistry, bro. Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Maybe. So, the only other person beside Koenji who had the intuition to figure out Ayana Koji was the one to put down Dragon Boy. Hiyori. Hiyori. Respect? <laughs> you know Hiyori respect? Mm, look, look at this shy Riz, man. Friends? Oh, we're just friends for now. Okay. Progress towards what? <laughs> blushing, 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 Hiyori! Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Ryuin put a bunch of fucking laxatives in. Made Albert, you know, stalk a bunch of people. Class B drank the fucking laxatives. They all have to fucking take a shit. Then Ryu said, Oi! Hey, teacher! What the fuck's going on? Them Class B buffoons are all went to the bathroom at the same time? Seems kinda sus. And then all the fucking matches were like physical activities. Fucking put Yamada Albert in for judo. Who the fuck is gonna be able to take out the fucking Albert in Class B while they gotta take a fucking shit, dude? As soon as fucking Albert throws them down, that shit fucking going... Pfft. Uh, it's all fair in game here. Don't worry about it. Hmm. I bet he would listen to Koji though. Oh? I'd like to talk to you. Can you come now? I'll be waiting at Cafe Palette and Kayaki Mall. Let me know if you can't make it. Yo! <laughs> season 2! Season, season 2 finale! Uh, Christmas Eve. We shared the same birthday and we fucking had, like, met on Christmas Eve, bro. Like, dude, as soon as fucking Manabu graduates, Anakoji fucking cheats on fucking Manabu's booty calls with Ryuan. This fucking slut, dude. Not even been one episode. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Never mind. I, th I, th I, thought, I thought this is the message relating to Ryuan. This is K. This is K. This is K. All right. We're, going we're bringing K over to Palette. Oh, whoa. Little does K know that the girl that just walked out at the same moment was fucking, you know, talking to and raising up Koji more than K could ever. I would argue Hiyori and Koji has more dynamic, bro. They have actual natural chemistry together with a common interest, a common hobby of books. What is... And look at this. She's wearing the fucking necklace that Koji got her. I... I don't know, bro. Like, does K and Koji really have that natural chemistry? I feel like this is the product of breaking a tool down and building them up and manipulating them, making them depend on us and fucking Stockholm Syndrome and just... It's just pure manipulation. But Hiyori, this is authentic. This is genuine, right? I, I don't know, man. Still reading that book that Hiyori got. <laughs> What do you want? Let's go official, fuck it. Is that a gift? Was that from Hiyori? That's from Hiyori, right? Yeah, the girl that just walked out. Oh! And that's it! Honestly, better than lying. If you were to lie about it, it's not good. But if we're just saying we both just like reading. It's just, you know, it's uh, what's the word? Platonic. Yeah, we do. 
What do you got in common with Koji, huh? Eh? Okay. So cold, bro. So cold, bro. <laughs> he didn't actually forget. No shot. No, this gotta be intentional. He's gotta be tugging at her fucking heart, making her feel like, I don't know. I don't even know right now. We're, we're psychologically abusing her, right? No shot. This is dementia Riz right now. No fucking shot. Oh, wait. I remember now. Actually? <laughs> yeah, that would have been hilarious if he said that should do it at the end, dude. <laughs> right, and then he makes an eye. That should do it. Uh, as soon as you fucking dementia raise cock, you know? <laughs> you fucking can't. You're gonna meet up Dragon Boy in the bathroom! Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. Okay, it's, it's, it's Hashimoto. Hashimoto. I thought it was Ryu and Koji, dude. Rise up! Double agent. Double agent? This is now confirmation that Hashimoto was always working with Ryuin behind the scenes, betraying Arisu? Is that, that's the implication here, right? The fuck? Does, I, wouldn't Arisu be aware of this? Also, where the fuck did Ryuin get this trench coat? Why does he have so much fucking drip right now? Oh! This dude never gets lines, dude! Kanzaki representation, finally! Okay. Aren't you the one being used? I don't know. <laughs> How that fucking laxative taste, motherfucker! What if it does happen again? If this shit happens in season fucking 4, do remember this moment. Ichido say bootlicker is kind of correct. But next year? I... Wait, does he have the resolve to kill? Kanzaki has the resolve to kill? Remember what Ryuin said in the Light Novel Cut content? You know, Ryuin said that Ichinose and Kanzaki, they're both not suited to be leaders. They're like supportive roles, huh? They don't have the resolve to kill in this fucking show about fucking students at a school playing mind games. Anyways, maybe Kanzaki does have the resolve to kill, bro. Bald mannequins. <laughs> Family! Family! Ah, this is a little bit spoiler. We know this line. We know this line because we watched the cut content, which basis you've been thought that it wouldn't be made into the anime, but... Yeah, why don't you just join the fucking... our class? Then we can get to class A. True. True? It would work! It would work! Yeah. Like, you might think it's dumb, but it would work. Also, what about the comment about Albert? Okay. More fun as an enemy. What about the comment about Albert? Yo, apparently in the light novel, there's a moment here where fucking... Fucking... Dude, what's his name? Fucking... Ishizaki was like, yo, Albert loves you, bro. Like, Albert, like, really likes you, bro. Albert, like, blushes and gets all giddy-giddy. Gets all doki-toki when, when fucking... Like, Albert Koji, is that a true ship, dude? It's still stay outside crying? What the fuck? Wait, raining? That'll do it. That'll do it. The fuck is she doing outside in the rain? What are you doing? Yeah. Coincidence? Coincidence? Yo, this emo Ichino say arc, she's like so weak and vulnerable now. Yeah? Bro, we fucking cheat on K with Hiyori in the fucking you know, cafe palette, then we call K over, come! And then we say, I forgot, leave. <laughs> then we fucking talk, you know, Hiyori. Booty call for Ryu and organize that. They were fucking, fucking talking with each you Nose know, after, bro. Poor K. Poor K. Arkoji has so many girls he has to attend to. Is Kushida gonna get a moment today, too? <laughs> what are we then, huh? Sure. That should do it. <laughs> <laughs> 
彼女はこの1年ですごく成長してるってそうどのクラスのリーダーも She actually might get over crap by Kansaki at this rate then, huh? 1年後の自分が<笑> Class D at this fucking rate In a year? In a year, at the end of second year, no spoilers But Koji had a prophecy, right? He said that he will A class is too hard, but he'll make it to B class Do I, does that mean that Arisu will stay A, Koji will make it to B by the end. Well, then again, what Nagumo is like, meritocracy, I wonder how much it matters, the class dependency shit. Ryuan will probably be class C and each no say D by the end of second year? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Rely on me. Spread your legs, each no say. That should do it. <laughs> he just fucking touched her. <laughs> oh, on one knee! On one knee! <laughs> Oh, you meet me again, like this, a year from now. Another prophecy. So in a year, he's gonna be on one knee grabbing her while she's crying. Not K. No, he already. Dragon Boy not allowed either. You fight? <laughs> What words were you gonna say? That should do it. That's what he's fucking saving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, but what? Uh huh. I will. Bro! He just said, I'll take the fucking dog out. Dude! What is he's, he's he's different today, huh? Koji really showed up at the finale, you fucking swinging, okay? Fuck you, bitch! I don't even know what I call you for, Hiyori. <laughs> I like your books, Ryuan. Booty call. It's no say. One year from now, baby girl, we gonna be here together. Can you promise me that? And when I'm there, I'll fucking decide the final blow. I'll kill you. He's gonna put the dog down. <laughs> All right, who's next? Kushida. Who's next? What other girl are we meeting today? Ah! <laughs> Wait, this is not the same gym where we had the fight though, right? Is, is, this is not where Piano and Calligraphy got in, right? And yes, as soon as I said, well, who's the next girl? The best girl shows up. <laughs> Fucking Dragon Is it the same gym? It just looks kind of small compared to the, um, the fight scene that we saw in Season 2. But okay, same place where the Piano and Calligraphy happens. This is from Aona Koji-kun. I could have more easily and safely won five matches in the special exam. For the rest, please talk to Anakoji from Hiyori. I could have easily have more. I could have more easily and safely won five matches. Is he just flexing? Is he just flexing on Ryuan right now? Just out of nowhere, just like unbothered, unquestioned. Anakoji is like, hey bro, I could have fucking won them all, by the way. <laughs> Who asked? <laughs> Yeah, he could have apparently. You, you mean that? Really? You mean it? Put the fucking chair man, bro, cheated. Best girl knows. We should get Ryu into a waterboard, Skishiro, bro. Anakoji should ask Ryu and bro. Yo, waterboard this fucking acting chair man. Time off? What does he do in his time off? Just drink fucking Don Perrier? Gonna be me! What the fuck? Piano Clinger They saved all the budget for this one sequence. All the budget! From the previous episodes where everyone looks so fucking derpy. I've never seen this anime be so animated well this season, bro. This finger movement for Ryuan, dude? The Sakuga going crazy to the min-max. All the budget here. Oh my god. So cool. So cool. <laughs> Unbothered. He actually tried to gouge his eyes out. B the laxatives. They didn't figure it out. Mm. It's actually coaching him. Oh, he's 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 coaching him.
Actually giving our girlfriend fucking advice on how to be better so we can have a rematch. The quote! Love is the best teacher! Love! I wouldn't mind being crushed by... <laughs> he said it, not me. <laughs> he said it with... Sussy! Sussy! Back in palette, back in palette. Ike! Shinohara! Is Ike him? Is, 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 is it actually him? Ike is him! You know, I thought that Ike and Kushida might have a thing. Or maybe I thought like Ike and fucking Chabashiro might have like, some funny relationship, but Shinohara. And Matsushita too! Holy shit! Matsushita's talking! Sato! Okay, <laughs> still so bothered by Koji's, you know, lack of interest. <laughs> Mm. Suspicious. He's suspicious of Koji because how the fuck could he have answered the 10th question correctly if he's truly an NPC? How did he get all the fucking positive votes from A class? More focused, case being sussy. Masushita's like getting kind of close, huh? I don't know. Is she, is she like getting information? That's all over. What'd you say? Wait. Mm. How did things go in season 2? You got completely rejected. He tried off stretch. You're not worth being smiling to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the outcome of season 2. It's crazy hearing fucking Shinohara of all people say Anakoji is stupid or something. <laughs> hey, that, that, that's the goal though. We're trying to be an NPC. We're doing a good job. We're doing such a good job that NPC thinks that we're stupid. We're, we're doing a good job. Wait, she's not wearing the necklace! She's not wearing the necklace right now! So I had a kind stranger. It's like me, me who's fucking EK. Yeah, high standards, high standards. I shouldn't disrespect EK like that. EK is a giga chat. EK, EK is a short king, bro. EK is a fucking wilderness fucking expert. Yeah, I, I love EK. I love EK, but I like, goddamn, really, you, you really think high specs is EK, bro? Come on, bro. Come on. Masuchita though, so interested in Ayano Koji. Cause like that's the thing that Sato was like, you know, first got a crush on Anakoji, right? She was like, "Wow, you're so fast! You were like running as fast as Manabu." And I was like, "Yeah." Sato's like, "Will you please go out with me, platonic friends?" And at the end, he's just like, "You're not worth fucking smiling at." Bye. But Masuchita, Matsushita though, she's like, kind of getting there with Koji. Who is this? What's what's booty call now? Skishiro! Hell no, I ain't going home! Is this a threat? You gonna try to kill me if I don't go home? Oh my god. I've been saying I'm very excited, not for the rest of the second year, that's gonna go to the third year to see who the second year, you know, aces are, but like the incoming cohort, new first year students. And I was like, there's gotta be some really cool people. But if these gonna plant white room students into the first year class to compete with Koji, oh my god! This is happening! They're bringing the white room to the school, it's a white school now! So he's gotta guess which student it will be, and if he guesses correctly, then Skishida will say, you win the game. But you're not the only success we've had. Koji is known as the perfect human. One of the best products of the white room. Are there other people that can actually compete with Koji? Really? I thought he was like the best of the best and no one really came close. I thought like, I thought that the white room was like, you got a cohort of like 30 people and like only one fucking survive. And that's like the graduation or some shit. But like, okay. That student, that student, one person?
俺よりも優れた人間は存在しない。みんな瞳。Masushita, the white room, she's not from the white room, she's not from the white room, but the coincidences, bro. Oh my god, eavesdrop, yeah, yeah. I already did your hair. Yeah, nice lie, nice lie. Your Masushita's popping off today. She might get more dialogue and screen time than Kate today's episode. What in the fuck, dude? And here we go. The confrontation. You gave the right answer during the mental math test, right? Oh, I just, I just guessed. There's no way out of this. Yeah, that moment, she was so sus. Oh, I just have me good at mental math. Hidata boy. You were there for everything? What, what the, were you, were you there during the fucking Koenji, Anakoji, you know, the boar scene? Were you there when fucking Ryu and you know the fucking wa the waterboarding? You know what'd be hilarious? Just show me a flashback of all past season content, but just like put Matsushita in there. Straight out, remember the um season one, start off of season one? Manabu Palm Strike, you know, season eight. Matsushita was there. Fucking, what's the other one? Fucking, season eight asking, hey, what are you really? Don't pry into my life. Matsushita was there holding an umbrella. Fucking, she was fucking everywhere, dude, from the beginning. She's too smart. I got a framework set up. Don't worry, baby girl. Second year, we're getting serious. B class first. What do you What do you mean there? Seventy to eighty percent of what I have. Is he saying he's individually outputting 80%, you know, his true power level right now? No shot. Maybe this could be interpreted. I don't know what the light novel said, but maybe this could be interpreted as like 70, like what I have. It's not really Anakoji's skills. It's more like the fucking pawns and the tools that he has. And he's 70 to 80% of the way of collecting all the tools. I don't really know. I doubt that he's fucking showing 70 to 80%, bro. Are you single? What did she ask? Okay, call her. What, what did she ask? You fucking? You fucking? What is the relationship? Hmm? What is it? Is it love? Is it a tool? What is it? You got a necklace? <laughs> Every girl is getting their fucking moment and Kay just keeps getting caught. Bro, where's Kushida at, bro? Straight up, we're gonna get a fucking Sakura scene at this rate. Okay, big boy! Alright! Alright! <laughs> you fucking cut your hair, put on a fucking pink jacket, cry to your fucking big bro, and suddenly you think you can fucking compete with the man himself that made you as a tool? Come on now, Marikita, come on now! Yeah, yeah alright, she's joining the student council. She's gonna join the student council. Alright, here we go. We planted a fucking agent. Cold. What? What do you want? Ah! Oh. I kinda wanna see that happen though, huh? I, I do wanna see Anakoji go fucking all out. Oh, could you imagine him just actually going fucking... But that kinda would lose the charm of this show. This whole show is about mind game trying to stay low trying to use a framework trying to use our tools to do the work for us be the master puppeteer and there are some moments where anakoji pops off and those moments are special but if he was always special then he's no longer special mm. ending song already what the fuck there's a lot more of the episode left though post credit scene let's go so did he really forget is she not, she's not wearing the necklace anymore, huh? Where are we going with this? 
My guess is that Anokoji intentionally is being kind of cold to K. You know, he does this thing a lot where he's like kind of cold and K is like, oh, he does not care about me. Then he says something nice and, she, and then she's like, oh, he loves me after all. We set her up. Now make her feel good. Mm -hmm. She's smart. What is her exceptional trait? Like she's good at mental math, but beyond that, what is good about her? I don't really know. She seems to be at the right place at the right fucking time every time. She's just stalking. Pro stalker? Could she be a better fucking scout for us than anyone else? Yeah, I'm, I'm dumping you for Matsushita. <laughs> Your plans? Boyfriend。Boyfriend。Okay。But you're the only one I care about, baby girl. And she's gonna be like, oh, and then he's gonna be <laughs> as he hugs her. That should do it. Don't. Stop! Hey, 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 there we go, there we go, there we go! Gift? Gift, gift? He called her K? Gift? Toes. Toes. Toes! It's happening! It's happening! Dato. Yeah. Yeah. Too easy. So it was all intentional to make her jealous. So the idea was to make her jealous to see if she would react badly, which would confirm the notion that she doesn't like anyone else. She only likes me. Hmm. Sociopath rays. Yeah. You want to date me? You will be my boyfriend. <laughs> I guess so. Bro, maybe the light novel did it different. Maybe the light novel did it different. But like, bro, the way that it's just a cold fucking stare. Especially because before he said the same shit to Ichinose. Ichinose, in a year now, will you be here for me? Just with the same fucking eyes. And he's like, I'm gonna put this bitch down myself. <laughs> really? You love me? Really? <laughs> oh, you're willing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yes, you have to say it. You have to say it. Hug, hug, hug. I thought a kiss was coming, bro. <laughs> Bad dog, no. The the kiss, the bigger reward comes later. He is actually conditioning her, huh, man. He needs to make her fucking earn that fucking kiss by making her do extra shit in season four, dude. This is fucked up, kind of, man. No, 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 not just yet. Not just yet. This is enough for now. Oh, kiss on the forehead? Wow. We're actually developing the relationship. It's moving forward. Has he? Has he? Monologue, monologue. This romance is necessarily for Karuizawa Kei to grow, not even for himself. What? He's weaponizing this relationship? Love is the best teacher, right? So we're teaching Kei through this fake love? Oh. <laughs> I'll use Kate to learn about romance so that when I'm actually learned about romance, then I can actually go into a gen like a genuine relationship with fucking Hiori, dude. You're trading no one that was out to date in the white room, I guess? Kate is a textbook to you? Okay. Once I'm done reading the textbook known as K, I won't need it anymore. It being the textbook as K. Bro, she just actually got fucking textbook zone, dude. The resolve to kill. What happened to these kids in the white room? What the fuck is going on? Let's pray. 
今この瞬間、okay. 大切な人。And that should do it. Bro didn't fucking smile. He's saying the next time when this actually happens, when I have some compassionate person that I could love and hold in my arms, I'll be able to smile after I learn through fucking K. Is there a light novel illustration for this? Let me check. Coat, season two. Sorry. Volume. Sorry. What, what, what volume is this, bro? <laughs> I don't even fucking know. Coat, fuck it. What, what volume is this, dude? 11.5? 11.5. Coat, volume 11.5, light novel illustration. Let's see it. Oh my god. Oh my god. And, and the funniest thing is. <laughs> no, Manabu was kind of smiling. Man Man Manabu was kind of smiling, right? Manabu was kind of smiling, but... <laughs> just... <laughs> there's, there's no love here. <laughs> there's no love here, bro. There's no love here, bro! And that should do it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for finishing Classroom of the Elite Season 3 with me. It's been a pleasure to react to this series. This series is very special to me because my, many of you might not know it, but I had a first channel before this current channel. And that first channel, I had to delete it due to copyright strikes. But what really got the traction going in that channel during the anime reaction, it was Classroom the Elite. And I re-uploaded those videos to this channel. All those videos are pretty scuffed, but even during those moments, y'all were there for me. Coat was great. Y'all were great. Thank you for all the live audience members watching with me live. And goddamn, there is so much more to come because this is only the end of the first year, plus a lot of cutout content from the light novel that I think you should check out. And we're entering the second year. This episode, man, it's just Kate just getting cucked over and over and over just so that Koji could make her feel a little special. You know, you do a little bad cup, you do a little bit of good cup, you tell her, oh. I just wanted to make sure that you love me. Just make sure that you feel jealous so that the next time that I actually have someone in my arms that I can love, I'll be able to smile. The fact that he's using this opportunity to learn about love, the more I understand the mindset of Anakoji, the more I realize how brutal and ruthless he's treating K. Does K deserve this? In the light novel, I think there's a lot more romantic intent, right? But, and, and he seems a lot more human in the light novel, but in the anime, it just feels like K has no fucking shot. She's literally a tool that's been downgraded to a fucking textbook to learn about love. And she's just an opportunity for him to grow as a human being. And it's like, damn, that shit is so fucking cold. But this is still only the end of the first year, right? There's plenty of content to come, and I'm most excited about the revelation that my theory might be coming true if we can't bring koji back to the white room what do we do bring the white room to the school make the school the white school so that all the teachings and stuff that you wanted to do at the white room just have fucking have it at school is that what koji dad's ultimate goal is i don't really know but things are getting very interesting and again thank you to everybody that finished class with elite for me i don't know when season four is gonna air maybe they're gonna have like an announcement Hopefully Studio Lurch doesn't cover it so we can get some actual proper fucking adaptation. But based on the way that the anime is continuing to succeeding, it might be Studio Lurch again. But hey, whenever Class of the Season 4, a Class of the Elite Season 4 announcement comes, I will be there to cover it. And until then, take care.